This is part one of sawmill assembly uh, the, of the Woodland Mills HM126 and uh, come along it should be fun. All right, guys. First thing we're gonna do is assemble these uh, these leveling feet, and uh, looks pretty straightforward. But I thought I would kind of show you how to do it. Take the bolt, leveling foot, put it through the hole, and then grab one of the nuts and thread it all the way down on there. That takes some time, but not too bad. Okay. Now, I've determined that this size, what is it, 15 16 fits on this pretty well. So I've got that size of the wrench. I'm going to crest it wrench and we'll adjust down to the correct size here. You might say, well, this guy's got some old tools. What's up with that? Well, I tell you what, these, you know, it's a little rusty, but these tools are, are very heavy duty, very well made, and you really can't buy these anymore in the store. Uh, you gotta get, you gotta look at uh, estate sales and auction sales and that type of thing to get get a good quality tool you know like this this one's made in the US this is made in the US um, looks like it's given the former owner years and years of service and I hope it gives me a bunch more too so but the next thing with these leveling feet is it really it just needs two more nuts um, one you're gonna put on right now um, roughly yeah, about, I'd say about halfway down. And then uh, save your other nut for, for later. because. <clears throat> Alright guys, I've laid out the bunks upside down so you guys can see the difference. Um, on your left here, you see that there's a bunk that has four holes in each end. Um, I suspect that that one goes in the center to tie the two sections of track together um, and then you've got two more bunks that have two holes in each end but they also have this uh, square tube attached that, that accepts the uh, the log bunks or the uh, the log stops and there's three or there's there's three of those all together one that goes in the middle and then the other two um, would go on either side of that one in the center. And then over here you see there's two bunks that don't have a, uh, a uh, tube attached to them. And those uh, go on each end of the track. So, Okay, in those bunks there, are, there were two boxes of bolts. I assume these go with the bunks. So that's what we're going to use assemble them. And I'm going to make it so that the uh, so I want to line two of these bolts up with the end with the end two holes in the track. So that's what we're going to do. And a couple of these bolts down in there.
couple of nuts on the bottom side. sawmill track together is to square this bunk where the square these bunks with the track and I can, uh, can tell you right now it is definitely not square so what we got to do is we got to loosen these bolts back up Okay, the next thing is to uh, go ahead and put these end stops on the end of the frame with two bolts. There's four of them for uh, both ends of the frame, two on each end. Zeke's doing the other one over there. That's pretty simple to do. Then it looks like these are the, uh, these must be the pieces that join the two tracks together. I don't know how that's going to quite work yet, but we'll see. And then uh, we've got a log dog here, and another part to that. There's a bar that goes across, but we'll see how all that goes in a minute here. Nope, they don't go there. Where do these little tea things go? In here? Nope, they don't go there either. There's three of them. Might be kind of hard to find. Close, you're getting closer. Here? Getting warmer. Here? Getting warmer. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Perfect. Yay. All right, you see how that works? Put that in there, loosen it up. All right, so the next step is to put this log dog on here. And that, for that, you need this this round piece here that has a bracket on the end. Goes in the track. I'm putting mine on the, between the uh, third and fourth bunk of the standard 12-foot track. Um, make sure you put this on first. I have to, I have to loosen that T-handle first to put that on. All right, guys. So one part I didn't record because my camera overheated, but um, right underneath this joint here, this center uh, where the two tracks go together, there's a plate that connects the two, and you'll need the eight long bolts that come in the one box. There's eight bolts that are longer. Now I was short one; I only had seven, so I had to use one of the short bolts. Um, to bolt this on because you need the extra length for this little bit of extra material So make sure you use the long bolts on this part. That's important to note and then uh, the next step is uh, You can kind of see where the, the plate is mounted on the bottom there Then the next step is going to be to level this thing out and put the saw head together Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching this video. I, uh, um, if you like the video, click the thumbs up. Um, 
this is the end of part one. Uh, we'll be doing part two. As you can see, uh, some some footage from part two right here at the end for you. Um, we're going to be putting together the uh, oh the uh, the mill head itself, and then uh, putting it onto the track, and we're going to test our first log, and we're going to see just how good this uh, woodland mills sawmill is. So. Uh, stay tuned uh, if you want to see the next video make sure to click that subscribe button and uh, click the thumbs up and we will catch you on the next video thanks for watching guys